everybody, this is Tobin at Virtual Storefronts. It's August 1st, and I thought this is a great time to give you an update on what we're doing right now, what is in the pipeline, and how you can participate with everything that's going on at Virtual Storefronts. It's August 1st. This is uh, the local register August update, and I just wanted to, the idea here is to give you a big panoramic view of everything that's going on at the company and uh, where things fit together. So without further ado, today is actually a really big day because yesterday uh, we had an in-office visit with Ray where Jason and Katie came in from Honeybug Barbecue and personally sent images and crafted the, their virtual storefront uh, with Ray, which is something that you can do. Just fill out the contact form on virtualstorefronts.co. That's our sales site. Anyway, so they did that, that yesterday and today. The Honeybug Barbecue food truck, which is based in Murphy, uh, published their storefront, and it's awesome. It has all kinds of really cool keywords. We're going to look at it in a second. So we did hit a major milestone at the same time, which is we now have 10,000 keywords. If you go to the top of our app on virtualstorefronts.com, it tells how many keywords are in our database. And we just went over with the publishing of Honeybug Barbecue to 10,084 items. So we have hit the 10,000 keyword mark, and that's mostly just for our pilot here with about 120 businesses in Cherokee County, in Western North Carolina, with a few in other states at this point. So that is huge, and it's doing some really miraculous work. I'm going to skip over for a second to this. So this is what this is what our keywords are doing in the past. This is a July report for the month of July that just ended. Our storefronts appeared. Those keywords made our storefronts appear 31,800 times over July, which is six times as many as we had in January. So this is a product that's really working. Now I'm going to show you how that search works. So notice we're in an incognito window. You're probably familiar with incognito. So our search results are not modified by our personal habits. There's no um, bias to the search results. So I'm going to walk, I'm going to show you what we do in terms of search marketing because we create a three part solution. We create a website solution that's low, it's a, it's a low cost, um, that keeps costs down for the businesses as a website, but it also, um, delivers a very high impact search engine optimization solution included for the $199 per year for each storefront. So without further ado, I'm just going to run through a bunch of searches. So the first search we got here is woodworking crafts in Andrews, North Carolina. I am going to now hit enter. You will see right here, the number one search before places, before anything else is homespun hobbies, virtual storefront. So we are telling, we are telling Google that this business has woodworking crafts, even though it's mostly a bakery. And the reason even even it even goes says right here, this is a snapshot that Google is giving of its keywords. And the last keyword on their storefront, if we go to their storefront, this is homespun hobbies storefront. We open this up and the last keyword you will see is woodworking crafts. That's what that's the data that Google is is, is pulling. So that's how that works. Now let's take a look at purses in Andrews, North Carolina. I'm going to hit enter. Boom. Rain Boutique. It's way above. It's at the top. It's the first result. Um, and that's also right out of the keywords. And it's above Google's own places results here. So that is a huge search result. We go to Rain Boutique. We open this up. In this list of keywords, purses versus near me. I'm not going to go back to that, but it's in there, right? So jeans, Andrews, North Carolina. Again, let's take a look at this. Boom, Rain Boutique. And for whatever reason, Google loves our data. They're now including in this number one search result, like a, like preview images of inventory from the virtual storefront at Rain Boutique. So that's another number one search. Let's take a look at shoe polish in Andrews, North Carolina. 
Now this is one of our, we're, we're the second result here for Google's Gibson shoe, shoe repair. They have that specific uh, product, a shoe polish product. And well, Facebook did get above us, but we we're still very high in the rankings and, and, and that's a very solid result. Plus we're more authoritative because we're telling, we're intentionally telling Google what that business has in its inventory. So that's an example of if I'm looking for that product in this area, Google can tell me where to go get it because of the virtual storefront. Next, Dresser, Andrews, North Carolina. I'm looking for furniture. Let's hit enter. Gibson Furniture, they have a very well-ranking enterprise website right down the road here. Um, they're actually right across the street. They're definitely going to be ranking. Um, and then as we scroll down, we have Yelp, which is essentially a generic nothing result that keeps showing up in every local search. Um, and then we have virtual storefronts. Two of our businesses come up in the dresser search result. CNC used furniture, which is a very relevant result, tells you that this company, CNC used furniture, which is right over here, has the, the dresser that you're looking for. And more old stuff, another downtown business that also has dressers. So we are giving that result to the public as they search for these things. Next, designer pens in Murphy, North Carolina. So this was, this was something that I really wanted to get ranked um, for Kate down at uh, Rarebird. Rarebird's a new customer. It took them a couple of years to get into virtual storefronts. We were thrilled to have them. And I wanted to make sure that the unique products that they have that people are able to find those products when they're searching all around this area so that they know that Rare Bird has these unique products. Here, when we do this designer pens in Murphy, North Carolina, the local search results, as you will see, are big corporate interest. Yelp, there's Yelp, it's always there, but it has nothing. And then Caldwell Banker, et cetera, et cetera. Walmart, that's hardly a local result. And then boom, there it is, Rare Bird Emporium, virtual storefronts. Uh, also includes an image. Now, if we go to their storefront, designer pens is a keyword. We told Google that you can buy a designer pen locally at that business. Last one. This is a nice big ticket item um, for our friends down at uh, Mountain Office Systems. Copier leasing in Murphy, North Carolina. Now, the number one result is Mountain Office Systems own website, which is pretty hard to compete against because they're actually running their own website and it's been there for even longer than ours. And then Facebook is there too. Oh, that wasn't there before. Anyway, here we are, virtual storefronts, telling the public that there is a copier leasing solution there at Mountain Office Systems. That's a sale that could be worth thousands of dollars, tens of thousands of dollars. So that is a very, uh, that's, that's how our search works. If we go to the shopper account, you'll see that shoppers can follow any of the feeds. They have their own custom feed of businesses, any business that's on virtual storefronts, whether it's in a town that has a live feed or not, can be followed in my feed. Then you have live feeds that we're opening for each market that we're in as we expand. Robbinsville's live feed is right here. Murphy has its own live feed. And Andrews, of course, has its own live feed, which is the default live feed. So um, you can follow as a shopper. You can create a shopper account. This is a shopper's account. Um, you can, it, it's free. It takes seconds to sign up. And you can follow anyone, any business on virtual storefronts in your own custom feed or any town in virtual storefronts. This is a feature that's going to be expanding for many more towns as we onboard them here at virtual storefronts. Currently, the live feed is also at, on this screen, we'll probably be upgrading to a vertical screen soon, but currently it's just this horizontal view at the Andrews Rail Tour, and we have actual testimonials that people coming off the rail tour, visitors to this town, are seeing data at the top of this live feed. They're seeing posts. It automatically refreshes and shows the top post shows the most recent at top. Uh, we have proof of sales. I'm gonna show you a video of that. 
Ready? Okay. Um, three ladies came in yesterday. They had been rafting and then went by the rail tour and they saw me on the virtual storefront live feed and they came in to buy bathing suits and sunglasses because there's fell in the river. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's Taylor at Rain Boutique. She posted the live feed. The uh, customer saw her post on the live feed, went to her store and actually made a purchase. So we have proof that people are using the live feed to make a purchase. Also, it can be on any device. So you just, you're automatically logged in as a shopper once you log in. So uh, that is really cool and that's been working. That's kind of been our summer project. Ray has been all over it posting stuff to the feed and I've been posting stuff to the feed and we've been encouraging the businesses to get involved in posting stuff to the feed. This is a feature that's really showing engagement and is really encouraging the community to localize, localize information. We're building technology around the community and its needs. We're building technology around the merchants and we don't have to, our goal is not, our goal is not to take your attention. Our goal is to, you know, we, what we say is our engagement is at your register as a merchant. We want the shopper to come down and have an encounter and talk and have an in-person experience on virtual storefronts. So that's, that's really what the feed is for, is for connecting shoppers in an efficient way, in a quick way, um, to the towns. Some other stuff that's been going on just that you, that you should know about is on Facebook, you can join us on our new, this is a, it's a kind of an everything group. It's about virtual storefronts. If you have any questions, it's keeping current on what we're doing. It is called technology without the work. It's very easy to find. Just Google technology without the work on Google. Uh, or just search on Facebook and it will come up with this group. It's a public group. You can just join the group or you can go and visit the group. But any questions that you have and anything that's coming up is kind of, this video will be posted here first. It's kind of the behind the scenes, the support, and the people who are really interested in local shopping all go into this group and Ray and I are moderating it and it's kind of an easy Q&A um, and a great way to keep up with us. Uh, the contact form, which is right here under the more, top of the more. This is a, if you need to get in touch with us for any reason, use the contact form at virtualstorefronts.co. Uh, we have um, one of our clients, the Blue Stage. This has been using all summer long, this is the new music venue. They have been using these table cards, which have all of the different uh, ways that you can follow them on all the different social platforms on it. Uh, and then they, and, and then a QR code that takes, takes you to their drink menu and their drink menu, so t like you, you QR from the table without any paper, and it goes right to this, their storefront, and right to this drink menu that you can just view right on your device. And they change this every couple weeks when they have a new drink menu, they don't have to print anything. And um, it's very simple and very easy to update. So um, they're doing that basically themselves on their virtual storefront. It's a great use case for how virtual storefronts can be used. Let's see. Um, well, the other thing I wanted to mention is I'm not going to, we, we have a bunch of demos where I show like the new storefronts, which we have, which are really top notch. So we have Rare Bird, which is a great storefront. We have Uniques, Honeybug. Um, who else do we have? Uh, Unlimited Fitness, Jones Roofing. We got our Bryson business recently um, and in, in Swain County. So there's a lot of really high quality storefronts coming online. This is kind of my invitation to you if you're a merchant in this area or any merchant who's interested. Now is the time for you to get a Primo virtual storefront made by Ray before things get much more involved around here. What is, what is currently happening is we are in September going to be creating a digital sales um, program that's being developed right now with someone who's, it's an endorsement, it's an expert working in digital marketing who is going to be endorsing our product and helping us build out a digital sales tool that actually really conveys all of the complicated things that we talk about here in a way that 
only a real true pro marketer can convert those that information into uh, something that anyone who runs into it comes to the website they can really understand what it is we offer this is a new website that John created John Fleischer down at digital creations created for us um, this is actually a much better presentation than it has been in the past it's, it's very it's very solid but this is about to get even better but I would encourage you to check out what it is he's got going on here because this is an excellent excellent um, kind of presentation and it gives you a really good idea of what it is we offer and then if you go to the top again if you need to contact us just go to contact to fill out the contact form but if you want to make a purchase all you have to do is go to the order form here and fill out this form hit the checkout boom it takes you five minutes and you don't need to come in if you'd like to come in and schedule an appointment we'd love to have you here or you can schedule an appointment on zoom you don't need to come in but uh what if you just purchase a storefront we we can actually just go ahead and make it based on the information you give us in this here form so that's pretty cool and we're also giving away free a whole free digital assets package for everyone who's gets a new storefront they have digital assets that they can download we give you the unlock code for that and boom you're off and running so now is a good time to get your storefront so you can follow us on Instagram we are putting out stuff all the time uh, we have a Facebook page although I really recommend the Facebook group over the page you can follow my personal profile Tobin Broganier at Facebook um, you can follow us on TikTok, YouTube I highly recommend you follow the YouTube channel because this is really where we have a lot of content coming down the pipe um, we have an entire section here of demos demos and explainers and then proof and testimonials so it's nicely laid out if you have questions about what we're doing this is a great place to get them answered in, a, in, in one place until the next time we do an update this is uh, Tobin at virtual storefronts thanks for watching follow us on YouTube follow us on Instagram and see you next time